Hi everyone, I am Diane Applewhite. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet potato biscuits. Preheating the oven to 425. I'm starting with one cup of smashed sweet potatoes and one and a fourth cup of cold buttermilk. Now I'm only going to use three-fourths cups of this buttermilk and the rest only as I need it. I'm going to mix these two ingredients in uh, this bowl. First the smashed sweet potatoes. And then the three-fourths cups of buttermilk. This should do the trick. Now I'm going to set this aside and get out the dry ingredients. For the dry ingredients, I'm using two cups of self-rising flour, a half teaspoon of salt, which I've already added to the flour, and a half teaspoon of cream of tartar, which I've already added to the flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, three teaspoons of sugar. And one stick of cold butter cut into cubes. I'm going to get the dry ingredients withstand pretty well. I'm going to get my butter cut into the flour until it looks like cornmeal. Now I'm going to add in the sweet potato mixture. I'm going to get it mixed in as much as I can. And this is the part where I'm going to gauge if I need to add a little bit more of the buttermilk. I'm hoping that I won't, but I will not know until I get my fingers in it. I'm going to add about a fourth cup or more, a fourth cup of the, the buttermilk that I had set aside. No more than that fourth cup because this should do it. And then I'm going to get that. into the mix and see how it feels. I think I have enough buttermilk uh, in the mix, but you have to be careful because the sweet potatoes are already moist. So what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle some flour on this mat. And then get this mix onto the mat Just got to use my hands, I guess. And then I'm going to work with the dough and work with the dough from there. I'm shaping the dough into a, a rectangle. It's feeling pretty good. And what I'm going to try to do is, what I am going to do is kind of fold it over. Turn it to this side. I'm going to fold it over some more. Not too much because we don't want to uh, of course work with the dough too much. I'm going to pat this rectangle out to about an inch. Don't need a roller. Just going to pat it out to a nice little 
about an inch. I can smell the sweet potatoes. And with this rectangle, I'm going to take this cutter and just cut it into a uh, squares that looks about an inch I don't want it more than an inch okay that's about an inch okay now I'm going to just cut these into squares well rectangles and how you cut it it just kind of depends on 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 how I'm cutting it really it just depends on the, the size and right now I am going to I think I can get this cut into uh they're going to be kind of on the small side, but that's okay. So I'm going to cut these, and then I got them cut like this. Then I'm going to just place them on this cookie sheet. Now that I have the dough situated on the pan, I'm going to place them in the refrigerator for about uh, 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put these in my preheated oven and let them bake about 10 to 12 minutes, not more than 15, until they are nice golden brown. Oh my word, look at that. This is something to see. Man, these babies are out. Look at that. These are something to see. Man. And the sweet potato and that cinnamon. I'm smelling it. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I could not wait. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, bye-bye. Mmm.